Edra Chan saw it? I'm Tokusa. This story is about a horrifying experience I had a few years ago. Back then, I was working at a company named Hiragi Corporation, a place with over 80 hours of overtime and a tiny salary considering the workload. Ugh, so sleepy. Tokusa, how many hours did you sleep last night? Around four. What? That much? I've only slept for two hours. I won. Please think of why you lost by tomorrow. Doesn't that mean you lost, though? Hey, you guys. There's no chatting allowed. <gasps> or else I'll have to decrease your salary. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. This guy is our company's CEO, Hiragi. Despite treating his workers like slaves, he spends money buying a Porsche and whatnot. Sorry, Tokusa, but this Porsche only has space for one person. He was an asshole through and through. Ah, uh, by the way, I just sent an email to all of you, so do check it later. Hmm? Just to let you know, if you can't abide by the contents of the email, I'll be reducing your salaries to zero. ZERO?! Did he just say zero?! Now I'm wide awake! What could be in the email? No clue, but it can't be anything good. Oh! Isn't this... An, an invitation, invitation to, to a, a wedding? wedding?! The email was an invitation letter to the CEO's daughter, Akane-san's wedding. It didn't have the option to be absent, and stated when and where the ceremony would be held. Well, that's not really an issue. But the problem is... It's to be held at 20XC6 Prefecture's resort area. No travel fees or paid leaves are provided, and all attendees must offer $300 as a gift. We'll need a plane to get to 20XD6 Prefecture, won't we? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What about our work stacking up while we're gone? We're already at our limit as is. Ah! Oh no. Akamatsu's posing like it's the end of the world. And for some reason... Huh? A marriage ceremony? I didn't get any emails like that. Same. Huh? There were those who received the invitation, and those who didn't. Did you get it? Nope. Huh? It seemed like only single men in their 20s had been invited. What's that supposed to mean? No clue. The only thing we know for sure is that skipping isn't an option. Please at least give us good food, or else it's nothing but misery! <laughs> You're right. But honestly, I feel bad for the groom as well. I'd rather die than have that CEO become my father-in-law. A few months later, on the day of the ceremony... Ah, that took an insanely long time. Why are they hosting it so far away? Hmm? Hey, look! Isn't it a bit weird? Huh? What is? Aren't there only guys who came today? Huh, you're, you're right. right! True. I barely see any females. There were two female staff members working at the reception desk, but a majority of the guests were either higher-ups from our company or young male workers in their 20s. Aside from a few older women who seemed like family members, we couldn't spot a single female guest. She's that CEO's daughter, so I guess she doesn't have any friends. Shush! Although we sensed that something was wrong, it became time for the ceremony. I wonder what kind of person the groom is. No idea. Uh, um, uh, apologies for the wait. It is now time for the groom's arrival. Ah! Ah! To our surprise, what appeared was a body pillow with a life-size picture of a man taped on top. N now we shall move on to the bride's arrival. Is this some kind of prank? <laughs> What else could it be? Here comes the boss! The punchline's gotta be just around the corner! Uh, um, the punchline? Hey, just how long are they gonna keep this up? Maybe till the last kiss? Y you may proceed with the exchange of rings. Now then, Katsura-san, do you promise to love Akane-san for all the days of your life? I do. I do too! 
Then you may now kiss each other. Mwah. Even after the kiss, we saw no reveals that this was a prank. And so we realized this was real. You all right? Bye-bye. Right now, we were watching a hell on earth unfold. As for the groom's face, upon thinking I've seen him somewhere, I realized he was Katsura, an up-and-coming actor who's been gaining popularity lately. So does that mean this was a virtual wedding? After that... Hi everyone! Thank you all very much for attending our wedding today! We didn't see a living groom appear. Aside from the new wife and their parents, the rest of us enjoyed what felt like a funeral wake. It's done. <laughs> All I want to do is to just run out of this place right now. My head Crap. It broke Akamatsu. But I guess he was always busted. However, for me, the real hell was only beginning. Thank you so much for today. Thank you very... Huh? Uh, why is she staring at me? Dad! Hmm? What's wrong? I choose him! <gasps> um, what? Hey, come on! What do you think? Hmm, well, it should be fine. Yay! Hmm, why is it that I sense an immense amount of dread? Uh, thank you very much for having me today! Goodbye! He's quick! Uh, then we'll take our leave, too! Uh, thank you very much! We just saw something insane! Uh, that family is crazy! Judging from the other guests' reactions, no one else knew about the groom either! Plus, just now with Tokusa, I wonder what that was about. Stop! I don't even want to think about it! Let's just head home ASAP! Taxi! And so, we escaped from the place as fast as we could. On Monday... Hey, did you hear about the CEO's daughter's marriage? Yeah, just look at those four. They've seen the ceremony from hell. You can tell from their faces. Tokusakun! <gasps> There's something important to discuss, so come here for a second. If you don't, your salary is zero. What is it that you wanted to discuss? Hmm. First, I'd like to thank you for attending my daughter's wedding the other day. Of course. It was mandatory. I'm grateful. As you can tell, my daughter is utterly obsessed with the actor, Mr. Katsura. She pleaded me that she wanted to hold a virtual wedding with him. Furthermore, she now wants to have a baby with him. Uh, isn't that a bit much? Yeah, I did try to get in contact with Mr. Katsura, but it's difficult. <laughs> so you did try! Since it can't be helped, we've been looking for someone else who'd offer their seed instead. A seed? Huh? Uh, what? Yes, the one my daughter chose is you, Tokusakun. I've booked the Hanging Tree Hotel in Etra District tonight. You'll be heading there, room 409. Huh? What's wrong? What? Tokusa? What happened? I'm running away. What? Hey, hold on. At least tell us what happened. No, even speaking of it is repulsive. Hey, come on. What the hell happened to you? Please, I promise I'll tell you guys once things have calmed down. So right now, just let me go! Ah! And so, I ran away from the company and that psychotic family. Luckily, my parents' acquaintance was just looking for a worker, and I decided to work back home for a while. As for my ex-co-workers... Hey, are you free tonight? Uh, I'm so sorry, but I have plans tonight! They were also requested by the CEO after hearing my story. Their reactions were the same. They all quit one after another. Although we live apart from each other, we still gather from time to time for some drinks. There wasn't a moment I felt safe back then. Mm hmm Yeah. By the way, because of that ceremony, the company's workers all began quitting. Don't go! <laughs> leading to a massive drop in performance. I've heard it recently went out of business. Oh yeah. I heard from a worker who stayed at the company until the end, 
but his daughter apparently gave birth to a kid a little while ago. What? Whose kid is it? No clue. I guess someone actually decided to go through with that insane plan of theirs. So what happened? I don't know the details, but like... Hmm, what's wrong? Well, um... Like, does her kid even exist? Who knows what that CEO and daughter are up to right now? Regardless, we hope they never get involved with us ever again. ご視聴ありがとうございました。だったら例と結婚しようと自由ですからね。現実と妄想がこっちゃにならなければいいですが。まあ、何せよ、その結婚式のおかげで今勤めている会社の社長がもっとやばいことに気づくことができた上に自分